ready to do a Lucille Ball inspired hair. I started with my pillow rollers for this set. I'm going to need a comb, some hair combs. I got these at the dollar store. I'm also going to use my Dinman brush, bobby pins, and my Lady Luck pomade. And so first off, we're going to keep that front section together, but we're going to do the sides. We're going to take them apart and comb, back comb them to give them, well, to break up the curls and to give it some more fullness on the side. And once you have that done, go ahead and grab your Lady Luck pomade, get a little on your fingers and rub it in until it's nice and soft and pliable. And I'm just going to smooth the very top layer of the sides. Next, I'm taking my comb to start smoothing it back towards the back. I temporarily put a bobby pin in to hold these front two sections back. But later, we'll take that out and use just the hair comb. Unless you have a lot of hair, then you probably could use the bobby pins and the hair comb. Alright, so on to the back. All I do here for the moment is I'm going to separate the curls so that they're not so stuck together. And then I'm going to take my comb and back comb to give enough of a cushion towards my head for pinning the hair down. Alright, so now back to the sides. So now we're going to smooth it back. By this point, I think I've removed my bobby pins, and I'm going to start putting my hair clips in, or excuse me, my hair combs. And then I place the combs on the other side the exact same way. So brush gently across the front and push the comb in. I do two combs on each side. And then you can make sure everything is nice and smooth. I used a little more Lady Luck pomade just to smooth the sides down. And then you get your hair scarf. I'm going to take it and pin it underneath to hold on to, or to make it hold on so it doesn't fall off. So I use two bobby pins to hold that into place. And then I'm going to pull it to the top, making sure that all the curls are not tucked underneath of it. And then create a bow which unfortunately I didn't realize you couldn't really see that at the moment. Oh, I also added a bobby pin um, on the top of the scarf too to hold it down or hold it into place. And again, sorry, I didn't realize this was a hard spot to see. So once you create your bow, you wanna fluff up the bow part and then tuck the tails. Okay, now that we have the bow where it's supposed to be, I'm just taking the curl, a few of the curls and separating them out, teasing them a little bit, and then um, laying them back into a place where I want them to be. I also ended up pinning some of the curls around the outside of the hair scarf too, to kind of hide the side of the hair scarf. All right, so now let's move on to that front section. So first we're gonna start by backcombing the whole front section to give it a nice fluff because Lucille Ball's hair was very nice and fluffy on the top. And then I'm basically just gonna start pulling it out, um, playing with the front a little, figuring out where it wants to go, um, just kind of moving the top around. All right, now I'm gonna use a bobby pin to kind of secure the top uh, so it stays where I want it to stay instead of flopping over to the side. <laughs> so what I do is I just pick a spot and pin it down and slide the uh, bobby pin inside of it. So now onto that front. I decided that I was going to make these ones a little more defined. And so 
I just cre recreated the curls that they wanted to make and then just basically make pin curls and pin them where they want to sit. Continuing to readjust wherever it needs to be. Alright, and now I'm going to use my Big Sexy Hair Get Layered hairspray. Um, I love this because it's a flash drying hairspray, so it instantly dries and I can keep playing and moving if I need to. So go ahead and give that a nice, good hairspray. Alright, and once you have it all nice and sprayed, adjust pins and curls wherever you feel they need to be adjusted. Uh, smooth anything down that doesn't look like it needs to be there, and you're done!